And uh, and now Daryl Lake's going to go on the wall here as we got the killer bees. Daryl Lake motioning. What was that all about? Not without controversy. And, and the Nico Jr. Peter now pulling up beside here. Here in victory lane. And McNichol. And some thumbs up. Oh, he's out of the vehicle. Race fans, put your hands together for the 44. Holds off all challengers tonight for the win. Well, you want to be a feature race winner. You want to be a points champion. Hopefully, at the end of the year, it's not going to be easy. You proved that tonight. Yeah, we've got... Uh as booze <laughs> go through victory lane. You know, I don't know. I had a good line coming off of two, and I had the inside coming into three, and then I tried to say, as you can see, I was on the bottom out of three all, or out of four all night, and I don't know why he chose to go to the bottom. He got tangled up early, and it luckily didn't do any damage to the car. And Daryl came back on after fixing the damage. It looked like he was waiting for you guys to come around. Did you think that? Well, he gave me a shot, so I think so, yeah. But, um, you know, that's... that's Car's working good. The team's working good. We've got great sponsors on there. Delaware's putting on a hell of a show. And got to thank everybody coming out, whether they're a fan of ours or not. Thanks for being a fan. And got to thank Crown. I mean, I know I get my cars crowned every year. And It's always uh, a wonder when you get late in the season, the points leaders come up to the front. Uh, uh, Robbie was there. Kenny was there with you at the end. Yeah, they got they got by me because I was battling with the 77, and then I seen that, and I thought, oh, well, you know, we'll just stay in our position, and we'll just deal with it. But then uh, 17 got in the 51, and then it turned him, so put them to the back, put us to the front, and that was a good position to uh, lead the last, I think it was four or five laps. And Congratulations. Yeah. Daryl Lake, uh, take us through what transpired out there. Uh, the way I saw it was uh, I had a good start there. Had a good shell out a bit of a run down the back straightaway, but... He was nowhere near my door, so I ran my line. He overdrove the corner, slant, door slammed me, and at that point, there's no way I was going to just let that crap fly. That's absolute nonsense. Way too aggressive. He's supposed to be the championship guy. Should be more worried about saving his car than going after one position in a race. You came in, got the car fixed. You came back on the track. Looked like you were uh, at the back of the field waiting for the lead pack. Was that the case? Uh, I was just kind of waiting to see what the car was doing, make sure that it wasn't too messed up. I heard some stuff dragging, so I was taking it easy, and then by the time the lead pack got to me, I mean, the car started coming into me. So uh, at that point, I was just going to do everything I could to make sure Shallow didn't win this race. So unfortunately, I failed, but uh, if it was up to me and they would have let me go back out there, it wouldn't have been the case tonight. Daryl Lake in the 77, obviously hot under the collar, and uh, just proves that uh, we're in for a whale of a finish to the Superstock division this year.